Hey, what's up YouTube viewers and Betanews.com readers? Brian Fajoli here with a really cool unboxing. As you can see, it is a computer from System76. Uh, they are a company that sells Ubuntu uh, laptops and desktops. This particular model is their new Oryx Pro and you can configure it with amazing specs. Um, so this particular model that I'm about to unbox um, has a Skylake i7 uh, processor, uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 memory, um, NVIDIA graphics uh, built in, um, the street graphics, uh, just some really great stuff. It even has G-Sync technology for the display. Really, really excited about this. Um, a really great Linux um, gaming laptop. But it, of course, can do a lot, you know, much, much more. It's, it's like I said, it's spec to the gills, and it's actually very reasonably priced. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Let's see here. Ooh. All right, so one of the things I like about the boxes on the System76 um, machines, as you can see here, it says, Unleash Your Potential. To, an earth, uh, to unleash potential, open box, lift platform, and flatten. Do not employ sharp objects seriously. And I learned this the, the hard way last time unboxing one of their machines. Um, they package it in a, in a very special way, so you don't need a knife once you have the box opened up. Um, let's see, I will need a, a knife, however, just to get into the box, actually. So I do have a knife here. And I'm just going to go along the top here, nice and carefully. And I'm going to do the same on this side of the box. Okay, let's see. Goes a screwdriver. Let's see, how does this open the best way? Here we go. So on the bottom of the box, there is some more tape that I'm going to go ahead and cut. Very sharp knife. And it looks like I need to cut the box here as well. Okay. And over here as well. Okay, put the knife away so I don't hurt myself. Though I gotta say, if I ever did cut myself, I'd probably get a lot of uh, a lot of views on YouTube. Okay. Now, another cool thing I like about the box is, as you can see, the outside is white. It says "Unleash Your Potential." Blah blah blah. On the inside, you open it up, and you can see some really cool stuff here. Isn't that really cool? I love that design. So you see here a rocket ship. Um, in uh, the corner over here, there's a it looks like a space fish with an astronaut, some kind of a fish alien thing. We see a city, a uh, light bulb, uh, some other stuff inside here, and, and this is kind of a um, a design meant to inspire creativity. So System76 doesn't just want to sell you a laptop or a computer, they want to sell you something that you're going to use to create and to make. And that's, you know, one of the great things about System76, but also the Linux community. Um, you know, it's it, there's there's purpose, you know, in all the software that's available. There's, there's purpose there. It's not um, nonsense. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the laptop out of the box here. And I'm just going to put it to the side for a moment. And this way we can look at the rest of the box. Let's see. Okay, cool. So on the inside here, it's a really big box. On the inside of the box it says, what will you make? That's a good question. What will you make? When you buy a computer, sure, maybe you just use it to surf the web and to, um, you know, get work done or study or something. But what are you actually going to do with it? What are you going to make? Are you going to make YouTube videos? Are you going to do programming? Are you going to make art? Are you going to make music? These are all things that are possible with a System76 computer. Okay, so I'm going to put the charger here. So, as I understand it from last time, so you unfold the box like so. You fold it up like this, and now it comes out. No need for a knife. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side now. And this is a pretty big power brick. It's a, it's a pretty powerful computer, um, but it's not overly heavy or anything. Uh, it's just, just a large power brick. Okay, keep on going here. Alright, let's see. 
and of course we have the actual laptop itself. Again, the same technology as far as the packaging. I'm just going to fold this up here. I'm going to take the laptop out of the box. Okay. And there appears to be an envelope inside. Let's go ahead and see what that is. Ooh, some cool stuff in here. So we have Desktop Sentinel, little uh, robot guy you can um, prop up on your desk. We have a nice little welcome from System76 from the staff there. Thank you for purchasing a System76 computer and join, uh, joining our growing family of users. If you're not already an Ubuntu user, let us be the first to welcome you to the world of open source software. At the bottom of this card are links and resources to get started with Ubuntu. Very cool. We also have some really neat stickers. So we have some System76 stickers and an Ubuntu sticker if you want to add that to your Oryx Pro. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for, let's look at the actual laptop. So it comes in, I believe, a 15.6 inch or a 17 inch uh, option. This is a 15.6 uh, inch uh, model. Oh my goodness, it feels really nice. Like it's like uh, anodized aluminum or something on the top. It feels really, really good. Let's go around the laptop and take a look. So on the right side, we have here, let's see, we have a microphone and head for, a headphone port. There's a third port there. Let's see, headphone, microphone. Not sure what that one's for. Is it like a line in or a line out? I'll have to look into that. There is a port here for SD slash MMC, and I believe, let's see, it says SIM. I don't know if this has um, an LTE modem in it, or if this is just for a micro SD card, but it says SIM there. That's interesting. Uh, USB 3.0, we have two ports, that's very cool. Gigabit Ethernet, of course, and a Kensington lock port. On the rear... Ooh, there's some nice venting here in the back. There's a USB 3.0 port. I like having a port in the back, especially if you're going to connect to something like a USB docking station. You can have everything hidden towards the back. That's really nice. And, of course, here is where you would uh, plug it in for power or for charging the battery. On this side, we have an HDMI port, USB 3.0, and then there's two display port outs. That's very cool. So this has a Skylake i7 processor. Uh, I believe it's a 6700HQ, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you, you can output to two 4K displays with this, so it's a really, really powerful computer. The front, wow, there's a lot of LEDs here on the front. So, it looks like a hard drive seek, uh, cap locks, number locks, airplane mode, oh, that's hard drive activity, um, battery, and power. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and open this up. Whoa. Holy cow. You can see a faint reflection of me, and yes, I am wearing a green shirt. So one of the things I really like about this design is I find it quite striking, these angles on the top of the lid. It's, there's, um, so, which is also on the bottom to match up, of course. It, it, it adds a really nice um, industrial look to the laptop. Uh, just, just a really nice design here, as you can see. So let's look at some of the really cool things that we see here. So the keyboard feels really nice. It's like a chiclet style keyboard um, and it's big enough to actually have a number pad. So if you like having a number pad, you do get that here, of course. Um, on the top, if you see this, um, there is Ankyo. Zoom in there a bit. Okay, so it says speakers installed Ankyo. So it looks like they're, they're front facing, actually. So the speakers are designed in such a way that they should uh, send sound towards the user, which is really what you want. That's very cool. Trackpad is nice and big. It is not a clickable trackpad, but instead the type with a left and right button. And the buttons actually feel really good. Now, if you're a gamer, and this is definitely a gamer, um, a gaming capable laptop, um, you probably will prefer having dedicated left and right buttons. A clickable trackpad can be nice and convenient if you're just doing some very light work. Um, otherwise, having these um, these dedicated left and right buttons uh, is really great. Of course, you probably would want to use a mouse during very heavy gaming sessions um, anyway. Okay, so also here is a fingerprint reader. Now, uh, on, on Linux and Ubuntu, there 
are ways to get a fingerprint reader working, however, it's not great. So you're probably gonna not even wanna bother using the fingerprint reader, but it's there for when you may need it. So if for whatever reason in the future, um, there is um, a really great package that comes out that offers really great support for fingerprint readers on, on Linux, uh, uh, you know, on, on Ubuntu, on uh, you know, other Linux distributions, um, you have it there uh, available to you. And of course, if you did need to, you can install Windows on these machines as well. So, um, you know, System76 sells them with Ubuntu preloaded, but if you did need to dual boot or something into Windows 10, for instance, this fingerprint reader would work brilliantly with Windows 10. However, you shouldn't need to do that. Ubuntu is very capable, and you should have no trouble staying with that operating system. So the keyboard is really nice. Um, the speakers are in a really great position. Um, as you can see on the top, there is a webcam. Uh, let's power it on. I don't know that it's going to power on from the factory as is. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, and another thing we can see here now is the keyboard is backlit. Awesome. Keyboard is backlit, and I like, you know, if you're a gamer, you know the WASD for controls, but it's nice to have the arrows kind of painted on there for someone who's maybe new to PC gaming. Um, so that's that's cool. That's that's very cool. Um, so if you're a Steam gamer or something, you you know you want to get started with uh, you know downloading games from Steam and, and doing some gaming um, on this laptop, you have the ability there. Okay, so this this display is a gorgeous 1080p and it does use um, G-Sync from NVIDIA. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of AMD and NVIDIA, so uh, I like both. However, on Linux, NVIDIA, for now at least, offers better um, driver support. I've had a lot of disastrous things happen with AMD drivers on Linux. However, um, AMD is making um, some real pushes in the open source community um, lately. Uh, I think they had an announcement yesterday about that, um, some different things with open sourcing of their drivers. Um, so hopefully, AMD should make some big improvements there, but for now, ideally, for Linux and Linux gaming you want an NVIDIA card and that's what you have here and there's a lot of different ways to configure this machine um, you don't have to necessarily go with the 32 gigs of RAM that's in here 32 gigs of DDR4 so it's two um, 16 gig sims which is which is crazy um, you have in here a 256 um, gigabyte uh, SSD I believe for the for the storage just really really great specs and um, I, I really look forward to testing this laptop out, not just for gaming, but for general purpose work as well. This machine can handle a lot of a lot of things. It can pre pretty much handle anything you're going to throw at it because it has top of the line Intel Core i7 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, which is really like the max you're going to get on a laptop. That's really crazy. You have a number pad. You have a fingerprint reader. You have um, plenty of USB 3.0 ports. You have dual this mini display port outs for connecting multiple monitors. So if you did want to connect a couple of 4K displays, you wouldn't have any tr any trouble there. That's really, really cool. Uh, of course, if you are a fan of Ubuntu, you don't have a Windows key here for your super key. You have the uh, Ubuntu logo. So it's just a really nice package. And it is not a super thin or um, lightweight laptop. However, it is also not thick or overly heavy either. It's actually... If you look here, it actually is pretty reasonably thin. Um, it, it's not too heavy. I wouldn't call it a thin laptop. However, it is not It is not overly heavy. So if you wanted to put this into a backpack and go to Starbucks or, or go to like a, um, a LAN party or something and do some, some gaming or get some work done outside of your house, this is not too heavy to carry in a backpack. It's actually really, really great. And the build quality, I have to say, I mean, if you if you could feel this, it's so cold to the touch. I'm in my basement where it is pretty cold, but this aluminum just feels so incredible, so incredible. And I love that there's a full-size HDMI, dual mini display port. I mean, just, just a really, really well-made laptop. What a great laptop. System76 um, definitely makes great machines. They offer really great support. Uh, they, you know, offer machines with Ubuntu, which is really important because, hey, any any guy can run into Best Buy and get a Windows machine. Uh, but if you want a, um, you know, a Linux laptop, if you want to run Ubuntu, you know, if you're new to Linux, maybe you're not really ready to start, um, you know, formatting your hard drive, installing Linux. Get, you know, 
Here, you're getting a machine ready to go with Ubuntu. You're going to get really great support for when you run into trouble. Uh, and it's really, really powerful with really, really great specs. This is, this is like top of the line specs here, guys. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will be reviewing this for betanews.com. And there's a very good chance this is going to be one of my picks for, for top laptops of 2015. Um, just, just a really great laptop that I'm looking forward to using, checking the performance out. But on paper, on paper, the specs are incredible. In person, the laptop feels incredible, looks wonderful. I, I don't know what I'm going to find negative with this laptop. However, I will use it extensively before doing an official review. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my videos if you like them. And have a great day. Bye-bye.